Love the shirts. I own a mode, actually. So do I. A liberation. Uh, an old one. Yes, an old one. Yes, yes. You have a new one. From where? Yeah. Voyager. I said it. Are they digital now? No, they're still all. Oh, just analog. Everything's analog. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I love the liberation. Yeah. Awesome. I also have a mold in there. You have a theremin? Yeah. They made theremins too? They still do. Oh my gosh, I did not know that. Oh dear, and that fits right in. For the viewers at the, home, uh, what, is a, what is a Moog? A Moog oh. is a, a Moog is a analog synthesizer, but they have branched out into a lot of different areas. They Bob Moog basically invented the synthesizer back in the late 60s. Yes. Originally there were these gigantic modular systems which looked like an old telephone switchboard. Yes, yes. You had to use wires to patch everything together. And he invented the compact keyboard as we know it today where the standard oscillator section, filters, envelope generators. Yes, so he, without him, electronic music wouldn't exist as we know it today. And as well as you know, people like Walter Wendy Carlos and uh, I saw uh, actually, Ray Emerson Lake and Palmer uh, back in the day with the orchestra. And of course, you know, Keith Emerson had one of the first modes. And that huge board where he was constantly plugging things in and out. And like, the world's most dangerous thing to play. <laughs> yes, exactly. And it must have been a nightmare to, uh, taking that around for the same city as well. Oh, I can about it. You know, just like a grand piano. Really, you know. Well, the old synthesizers were so fussy. Yeah, you know, exactly. You had to plug it in, let it warm up, right, right. tune it. Right. Ten minutes later, tune it again. Exactly. Ten minutes later, tune it again. Exactly, exactly. Right. We got a little more stable as years ago. By. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's true. Yeah. I, I actually have a promotional picture that was on the front page of the Indianapolis Star. as this character with my Moog jumping in the air. So Moog has a very special place in my heart in the studio and even in, in uh, live on stage. And so... Yeah, I, whenever I see somebody with a Moog t-shirt, I gotta go talk to them. I'm not Thank you very and much for taking it. the time. To not a problem. To talk about Moog. Right now. <laughs> yeah, I love it. That's right. In the here and now. Have Take fun. care. You too. And also, too, you know, you think about the cheesiness. Uh, of course, you know, the theremin is uh, an instrument that is, it responds to the, literally to your hand. You don't even have to touch it, and uh, it's often used in cheesy lounge music. Yes, so it's a very, very appropriate topic, which I didn't really even think about until just now. Amazing. You know, Brian Wilson used it in Good Vibrations. If you don't know what that is, it's that... Yeah, that's a theremin. Anyway, we're still not back to the cheese. Let's go.